It's called an eye knife, a sizzling scientific breakthrough where from smoke it can smell cancer. I think it's game-changing, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think it's going to revolutionise how we care for our patients. So it's within the tissue. Using this unassuming machine, scientists at Imperial College have developed a way to accurately diagnose wound cancer within seconds, when it usually can take weeks. You're speeding up the answer for the patient. One, reducing anxiety. In the other case, you're actually uh, shortening the time to treatment for cancer patients. And this is how the eye knife works. After burning tissue, smoke is carried through a tube and processed into a computer. You can build a model, and this is the intelligent bit of this eye knife. You build a model with known tissues, and then what you can do is to use the eye knife again for an unknown bit of tissue, and you run it through recognition, and it will tell you whether you're cutting through, for example, cancer or non-cancerous tissue. Within moments, the computer gives its diagnosis when it finds cancer tissue. Womb cancer is the fourth most common cancer in women and it's one that people have often not heard about until they're sitting in a small white room being told that they have it. This research was funded by the Eve Appeal Cancer Charity who say biopsy results can sometimes take up to five weeks. And I guess if people are waiting five weeks and do have cancer, I mean, time is a huge absolutely, factor. Absolutely, absolutely. The faster you know what you're dealing with, the better. With cancer, you know, it really doesn't wait. You might need to wait for your test results. Cancer doesn't wait, it carries on. Faith Canton was diagnosed with an aggressive wound cancer, <laughs> which was removed, but she's all too aware of the importance of time. Friends who I've, who I made through the experience of cancer, um, some of them haven't made it. They didn't have the time and if they'd have had the information sooner and if they'd had a faster diagnosis and their treatment had started sooner, they might still be alive right now. This eye knife research is still in development but could soon be cutting through waiting times. Rags Martel, ITV News.